Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. And look, they got the whole case of pan of water here for 1943, right? When you go to the restaurant, they charge you $20 for one bottle. Unbelievable. Get some mix. The kids love the strawberry daiquiri and the margarita. Yes, guys, I have some sawfish here today. We can make sawfish and bake for me. I also put some pepper sauce here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and try it. This feel like me the back of guy, and I hate no. I not breakfast, man. I normally me not eat breakfast. Made lunch only, but this is very good. Good to stay home, man. We gotta stay home more often, no. Let's see what it looks like. You got the, the roti here. We tell them that the chana curry inside here and the spices. Now give this a try now. Man, this is a lot of work. All right, let me dig into this thing here. Heaven! <laughs> of the left quarters here from restaurant depot $19 can't go wrong right chicken really cheap America here look so we're gonna clean this up seasoning up and seasoning it up jerk seas jerk style we're gonna jerk all 40 pump jerk all 40 pump all right yeah all right so we'll do, do some teamwork <laughs> you get ready to join the team yeah all right. This knife here from uh, Cutco. They said it's uh, warranted forever. Once you buy this, you don't have to buy another knife again. But let's see how it works. I mean, this is not going to be a real test because I'm just cutting uh, chicken here. But it's uh, really good. I like I said, this is not going to be the real test for it. But um, I bought a few pieces. It's real expensive. So who have it, drop a comment. Yeah, anything happen to it, you just send it back. If you get too dull, it'll sh Sharpen it up for you. I mean, that's what they said. This is the first time using it, but it's uh, pretty good. I mean, I don't want to cut this. We don't want to cut this. If not, I would cut it and show you. I'm just uh, removing some fat off of this here. But this is not going to be the real test for the knife. All right. The chicken, after we finish cleaning it, clean it thoroughly. Now we're going to get ready to season it. So we're going to do everything uh, jerk style. Rita is dropping in the jerk seasoning there, or the jerk sauce. What is it, jerk seasoning or jerk sauce? Jerk sauce. Don't be stingy, okay? Okay. Don't be stingy, my guy. You want a nice and flavor. All right. Looking good. Now we're going in with the green seasoning. You don't have to add all these things in because the jerk... The jerk seasoning alone will do it, but uh, we want to go above and beyond. Now we got the grind garlic. That's an extra. And now we're giving it some extra pepper, even though the jerk seasoning or the jerk sauce has the uh, spice already. We're giving it some extra, extra kick. Extra spicy. We love the spice in here. No complaint. All right. No bangles, please. <laughs> <laughs> you need my hand or are you good? I'm good, I'm good. I love doing this. Okay. All right, so we'll show you when we're done. Seasoning of the chicken is done here. See how this looked there? Everything is uh, 
well mixed in or re- yeah uh, you know if you're not a professional like me don't try this at home yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead bag it up put it in the freezer so whenever I need it I just take it out and put it in the oven or on the grill you mean you're not making some for me today of course okay today we're gonna be making some uh, vermicelli here vermicelli West Indian style is a very uh, popular dish in Guyana it's a sweet or a dessert we're gonna make vermicelli cake right so I have all the ingredients uh, laid out here I have a cup of milk I have a teaspoon of uh, butter here mixed essence two carnation milk one condensed milk half a cup of sugar some raisin some cinnamon stick here some clove whole clove and nutmeg I also got a cup and a half of water here so while I go through the process I'll explain everything you get the fire going here I'm gonna warm this up for a little bit put this butter in and then I'm gonna put this into a parch a little bit once you get to nice golden brown color then we'll add the other stuff in so I'll explain that while I'm doing it so I got my butter in the pot here and put it in some people do it a different style they do a liquid style I'm going to try to make the cake today yeah this is the vermicelli cake yeah vermicelli cake so we got this in here we're going to let it pass put the butter so I got this here parching here I'm looking for a golden brown texture see it's coming along good there I also got my water going here I'm going to put the the clove and the cinnamon stick to boil in here along with the sugar so we'll get the flavor some people like to put it in the vermicelli cake but um, when you're eating it then you'll have to take it out so I'll put it in here so we'll get the flavor then I'll take it out and put the water in here so the water is hot I got the clove in and the cinnamon stick I'm gonna also put the sugar in and let it melt in here So I put the sugar in here so it will dissolve. Once everything is dissolved here, and this is patched to the color I want, I'm gonna add it in to the vermicelli cake. So we're looking for golden brown, it's coming along nice. All right, so after about five minutes of uh, parching here with the butter, this uh, comes out to the color that I want. The water is also ready with the sugar. So I'm gonna strain the water to get out the clove. So I'm going to add this in here. I'm using the strainer to strain the clove out and the cinnamon stick. Some people keep it with it. But like I was saying, I don't want it in the cake. So now this is good. We still got the flavor that we want. And then, so now I got the water in here. I'm going to let this uh, vermicelli soak up this water. Once this water is soaked up, I'll add the uh, milk in. Right? I'm going to cover this up and let it boil. We'll let this boil for about five minutes and we'll check it back. So after about three minutes, I got most of the water soaked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the milk in now. See? So now I'm adding in this milk. You can use uh, two cup of milk if you want and one carnation less, it's up to you, but I wanna make it uh, more rich. So put this two can of carnation in along with the milk. make it rich and nice yep very flavorful this you can eat any time of day not for dessert um, you know people do it when they have religious functions wedding they serve it as dessert but like I said you can eat it anytime so you gotta keep you know turning this every once in a while not uh, vigorously but you don't want it to, to burn in the pot even though it's a non-stick you just give it a little turn every once in a while and let it boil Guys, I also got the raisin here. I'm gonna put this in. This is optional. You don't have to do this. Depends on how much you want. Some people put cherry into, but I'm not gonna go with cherry. Some mixed essence here to give it some more flavor. I'm gonna put a little bit in, not too much. Just a half a teaspoon or so. Get that in. I'm giving it a little bit of turn here. This is coming along very good here. It's smelling good already. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add the condensed milk now. Going in with the condensed milk, and then after that, I'm gonna let this boil. So I'm going in with my nutmeg here. All of you know the nutmeg and the essence is optional, it's just for more flavor. See how it's coming along there? You'll turn it up and let it boil. So this is almost done after about uh, 15 minutes or so. So you see how nice it comes out? Smell real good. Yeah. I'm gonna Yum. set it in my container. I'll show you guys that in a sec. Guys, after the vermicelli cake uh, cooled down here, now it's time to cut it. it came out real good. I mean, it looks good. I gotta taste it. This is the vermicelli cake here. This is what it comes out like. I'm gonna go ahead, take a piece. Of course, I'm gonna give you guys first, first bite. So let me go ahead and taste it. Excellent, excellent. Right amount of sugar. Carry a perfect flavor. This is heaven. Heaven. <laughs> it's rich. Very rich. Um, like I was saying, you don't have to put all that carnation. You can substitute it for regular milk. One cup of extra milk, but I like it rich, right? I don't need sweet that often, but when I do, you gotta make it real good. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hello everyone, it's me, your favorite niece, Jenna, and I'm gonna be telling you guys some jokes I made that are funny. Why couldn't the pony sing a lullaby? Answer, she was a little horse. Number two, the question, what do lawyers wear when they go to court? Answer, lawsuit. Number three, question, what is a cat's favorite color? Answer, purple. <laughs> and number four, question, why did the toddler, toddler toss the butter out of the window? Answer, so she could see a butterfly. Those are... And also I have one other joke that I didn't write down, but what is the best thing about Switzerland? Answer, I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> and guys, also there's a war with Russia and Ukraine, which you guys already know. So um, pray for Ukraine for peace because Russia just wanted Ukraine to be a part of Russia again. And guys, also if you're wondering what happened to my lips, my I just ate a snow cone that my dad made. And it's like the um, flavor and color. Thank so you. Like bluish. Thank you for that information, Jenna. I was wondering what's wrong with your lip. You're welcome. And guys, that's all I wanted to say. And I wanted to give out a shout out to all my little peeps watching. And I hope you enjoyed my jokes and video. Bye.